What is going on lads and welcome back to the channel. We've got yet another update. Konami just keep dropping updates here. Um, dropping it at 2 o'clock just about 20 minutes ago. So we're going to try and keep, keep you up to date because originally this was a little bit confusing when they were talking about the power packs. So if you've missed the last video that I did, there was an in-game message that was basically a preview of the premium objectives that are available on Thursday. Um, and this came up in-game and also on their official website where I covered it in the video where they're talking about premium ambassador packs, they're talking about premium club packs, and they're talking about regular club packs, right? So we now have more information on what they are because they tweeted out from the official eFootball accounts. So in conjunction with the start of Dream Team Season 2, Dream Team Power Packs will be available in the game starting next Thursday, the 16th of June. So we now have a look at what these exactly will be. So they've released a couple of images, which we'll get in a second, on their official Twitter. So you've Arsenal as a club pack, you've got Premium Club Pack Barcelona 21-22, you've got the same for Bayern Munich, and you've got the Premium for Manchester United, right? So we'll get a look at these cards here in a second. Um, but they also talk about, you know, being able to add extra options and being, you know, these guys as your centerpieces especially the premium ambassador packs that focus on Messi and Neymar. Um, and then they also say that they come with exclusive card designs, which to be honest, let's look credit where it's due. It's a small thing, but the card design looks absolutely class. I mean, that Ansu Fati card is, is unbelievable. It's absolutely fire in my opinion. And the rest of the cards look really, really nice as well. So kudos to that. Obviously it's a small thing or it's irrelevant for some of you guys, but I think it's nice. Now, when we head over here to the official website, right? We've got this announcement and we've also got this explanation of what it is, right? So it's an immediate, the Dream Team Power Packs are an immediate reinforcement of 11 players and training items, introducing one-of-a-kind booster packs that will surely be an electrifying addition to your Dream Team, bolster up your team with the, these dynamic sign-ins and further develop your Dream Team. So the way I think these are going to work is similar to how the iconic moment edition of the games used to work before. So if you remember back with the iconic moment versions of the game that you could buy one or you could buy five and you could stack them up and get all the rewards, I think that's the way it's going to be here, the way that they say that you can further develop your dream team right there, right? So they say it there. Now, they also say that these are going to be purchasable via the objectives, premium objectives from the in-game menu. So when we go down here and we have a look at the premium clubs, right? There's a mix between the premium clubs and the club packs, right? So the premium clubs starting us off are going to cost 2,000 eFootball coins each. Not eFootball points, not GP, but 2,000 eFootball coins. So they're keeping it in the same ecosystem instead of it being 20 euro or 10 euro or 10 pounds or whatever your regency is or your region um, and currency is. They've actually bro broken this down into eFootball coins. So for 2,000 eFootball coins on the store at the moment, it's about 16 pounds or about 21 euro or 20 euro around that, depending on your region. So they're going to cost you about that. So to get Barcelona, Bayern Munich and Manchester United as your premium club pack, as well as get the ambassador club pack, which includes a legend Messi and a legend Neymar, as well as 10 other featured players. We'll get to that in a sec. They're going to cost roughly around 20 euro or about 16 pounds, right? The club packs, which they're talking about here, are going to cost 1,500 eFootball coins, which if you look into here, obviously you're either going to have to buy, you know, like this and another 500, which is going to cost you about 15 quid, or else you're going to have to buy the two. So roughly it's going to cost you about 15 euro or else 12 pounds to get the actual club packs, right? So when we look at these, right, and we look at the club packs here um, for 1,500 coins, I think that the it's it's going to be up to you guys. I mean, like, look, it's up to you whether you buy these packs or not. No one is is putting a gun to your head. Um, but if people do want to buy them, it is kind of it is kind of like they have it. Everything is going to be costing. You know what I mean? Like, you're not going to be getting these cards um, for free. So you do have to buy them with the coins there. And what they feature is eleven cards, no legend edition here, four thousand XP training programs by seven, so seven ones of them. And then also with the premium one, you've got more, obviously. So you get more bang for your buck. So again, lads, this is, I know guys and people have bought, you know, five editions of the iconic moments version going back. So they wanted Burkamp and they wanted Oliver Kahn, Beckham, Ronaldo and Messi uh, when they when that was out for PES 2021. So, I mean, it's up to everybody what they do and what they spend their money on. I mean, we're all adults. We all have our own money. We can all choose to either spend money on it or ignore it completely. We're just covering the news here of what it actually could be because there's a lot of confusion about it. So the premium club packs, lads, right? You are going to get your legend card, which is Ansu Fati for Barcelona. 
and you're going to get the rest of the starting 11. So you've got the young, Ter Stegen, you've got Dembele, you've got Jordi Alba, Pique, Aubameyang, Dani Alves, Busquets, all them guys, right? Um, Bayern Munich, again, you've got up in Meccano, you've got Lewandowski, they look absolutely stacked. They're probably going to be the most popular team to buy if people are choosing to do that. And you've also got United with Rashford as the legend. Now, you also get with these 15 training programs at 4,000 XP each, and you get your legendary and you get your 10 featured with the premium club pack. Now, there isn't information on whether you can level these players up. I would say because of how high the level is, you might be able to train up the legend card because Rashford is only 84, up at Meccano is only 86, and uh, Ansu Fati is 84. And if you look at Ansu Fati here as a left wing and you look at Dembele, I mean, Ansu Fati is the legend uh, version of the card with the player signature and exclusive design that you can't get anywhere else. And Dembele is actually higher than him by four overall. Now, I know the overalls don't make a huge difference, but I reckon that if you can't train these regular featured players, I definitely think you would be able to train up your legendary because these will probably be the best cards in the game if you're going to be paying, you know, 20 quid to get them. Um, same with up in Meccano, same with Rashford. So the club pack then, you're just getting the 11 featured players. Now, again, I don't know if these are going to be trainable, if you're going to be able to train them up or whatever, but we will see and hopefully be able to get that. And also, we have Arsenal, Roma and Celtic, but there is more coming, which we knew from the last, or today's announcement as well, that Monaco, Galatasaray and Manchester City are going to be joining as well. So again, lads, it's uh, it's... Yeah, I mean, it's a lot of it's a lot of um, new content or, you know, not content, but cards going to be entering into the infrastructure and the ecosystem of Dream Team. So you can see there in the club pack, you've got your starting 11. Saka is probably the highest rated with Odegaard overall. Then you've got Roma, they're starting 11, and you've got Celtic starting 11. And, 11. and they ob obviously, we've, we know the other big team packs that have been announced so far as we just went through there. Now, most probably depending on which side of the fence you sit on on actually spending money on the game, most importantly is probably to cover the Messi and Neymar premium ambassador packs, right? So these seem to be a separate purchase that you can buy for the same price. So about 20 quid or about 15 pounds, 2,000 eFootball coins each. That means that I think you can stack these. So there will be nothing stopping somebody from loading up their account, in my opinion, with 10,000 eFootball coins, buying the Messi edition, buying the Neymar edition, and buying the three club editions here, and having Rashford up in Meccano, and Sufati as your legends, Messi and Neymar, and then have all of these players, have all of these players, and have all of these players. So it's no different than somebody spending, you know, 10,000 coins to, to open up legends, and getting three legends, and getting every other player that's in the pack, and clearing the agent, you know, and people have done that. So again, lads, it's up to, it's up to whoever you, you know, it's up to you guys, whether you want to actually spend coins or not. But this is the premium ambassador pack feature of Messi, and this features the same rewards and the same uh, boosts as the cl premium club packs. But obviously, instead of getting a premium club legend, such as Rashford at United, you are going to be getting um, Lionel Messi here, who will probably be absolutely incredible. Or else Neymar, who I think Neymar is probably top three players in the game. Um, he's absolutely amazing. Um, so... Yeah, I mean, that's it, lads. That's pretty much the information. We don't have their cards. Now, they do, interestingly enough, talk about Messi and Neymar's um, ambassador packs and saying that they're to make the world's best shine brightest, some of their greatest teammates will also be lacing up in these exclusive packs. So could we see Ronaldinho with Messi? Could we see Mbappe with Neymar? Could we see, I don't know, could we see somebody from Santos? Could we see um, Messi maybe having like a, a really stacked Barcelona, a couple of legends in his Barcelona team or something like that? Who knows? Um, but we will see. And they also talk about having exclusive car designs as well. We haven't seen the designs yet. And they also talk about having a heightened possession game or out wide team play style proficiency. So for someone like me who plays out wide, not to have to spend any training points on these guys if Messi is, I reckon obviously Messi will be possession and Neymar will be out wide play style. I'll probably try and get Neymar, um, but we'll see. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much it, lads. They've talked obviously about like different things and they're saying that... Um, you know, you'll be able to buy them through the objectives and stuff. But yeah, that's it for me, lads. Let me know what you guys think. Obviously, just wanted to cover this news because it was a bit confusing for my last video. But let me know, are you guys going to get any of these packs? What do you think of this decision? And uh, will you will you actually get the packs? So let me know in the comments below. Give me a thumbs up or a thumbs down. And I will talk to you in a bit, lads. Peace.